I got wrapped up in coding. Oh, that's good because I have a topic to discuss in that regard. Uh, so let me see. Let me grab my web page here. Okay, so uh, let's let's go through the boilerplate parts of the meeting. No surprises here. Um, so we shipped the Val promoted the Valhalla Chrome Embedded Framework Viewer to the default yesterday. Yay! Um, more on that in a in a moment. Uh, the HTTP and coroutines viewer is being merged with the Vivox viewer even as we speak. Uh, well, not at the moment because Ryder's sitting over here listening to the meeting, but uh, that is ongoing. So those two, those two branches will pretty soon be, uh, be one, and uh, that's coming along nicely. Uh, and there's the usual main branch, which is a collection of stuff. Uh, the graphics quick pref preferences viewer um, is is also still in RC. All of those will be also be getting updates, of course, for CEF, but that hasn't happened yet. And those updates will not go to their respective release channels until after the new year. We are. We are in our 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 uh, no change window now through New Year's and the following weekend. So um, so nothing before the twelfth, eleventh. Uh, no, no, just um, sorry. Let me look at a calendar so I speak more clearly. Uh, Nothing before the fourth. Okay. There will be no, uh, you know, barring emergencies, there will be no releases before the fourth. And if you had to do your best guess, and we all know how this goes, but um, what do you think might be the next thing out? Uh, there's a pretty good chance it'll be the main viewer. Um, uh, but um, we would like it to be HTTP pretty soon, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, So, uh, well, um, you know, if if you want fixes for release for Linux, uh, you should contribute the fixes. Um, we're not doing them. So, uh, let's see. Um, and then, of course, there are the the, the new Bento Project Viewer, um, and we have Veer to talk about any questions you have with that. Oh, we and, have some questions. And the, I'm surprised. I'm so surprised. <laughs> uh, I have some concerns. And, and there will be... <laughs> and and uh, at some point soon, we hope to update the Rift Viewer again, so I'm, I'm getting somebody back on that. Um, before we get on to talking about the extended skeleton and all of its 
attendant issues, which I'm sure we'll we'll have plenty of time for. Um, the uh, the the CEF viewer, uh, and this is important. The CEF viewer gets our viewer up to the point where it supports TLS version 1.2 properly in all its web interactions. Uh, and that is going to be critical by next spring. Um, anything that does not support TLS 1.2 will not be able to do any interactions with cashier or anything that involves money. We, we will be changing, and, and this, isn't, this isn't optional on our part. This isn't just an arbitrary choice on our part. This is, this is a compliance require, requirement. So, um, yeah, if you're typing, please turn off your mic. Oh, sorry. Um, and uh, I, I, being someone with a noisy keyboard, I get that all the time. Um, the... Uh, so um, be looking for that in your own stuff. If you don't support TLS 1.2, your users won't be able to do anything that involves money. Because we'll have switched it off. We'll have switched off everything earlier than that on the server side. So um, an important thing to be watching out for. Uh, all right, so uh, floor is open for um, any questions, comments, issues, discussions. I'm just going to say quickly, um, Annie, yes, um, the any older versions of uh, Firestorm will not be able to use cashier then come spring. Uh, but there is something coming that's going to kill them before that anyways, which we're going to get to in a minute. Yeah, and lots of our our older viewers. I mean, everything earlier than this everything. one. Everything, yeah. Everything earlier than this one will, will have to be um, disabled at that point. Um, to answer Cinder's question in chat, um, mostly what's been blocking the, the assorted versions that have open source contributions in them is lack of time and attention because we've been so focused on getting CEF and Bento out the door. And uh, now that that has happened, I believe we will be able to get those pulled together into a smaller number of branches than they're in now and, and out. Uh, and I apologize for the delay, but we were a little busy. Is there still any ETA on CES? On which? CEF. Uh, CES. Uh, CEF, sorry. CES, CEF so, is out. It is a oh, default it is viewer. Out. Okay, so we got to merge that. As, of, really as of yesterday, it went to the, out, to the default release yesterday. And we do have it merged, okay. Um, so we've got a bit of a problem with Bento. Um, it's crashing, um, our, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, there appears to be a crash, um, impacting, uh, no, I don't know if it's just impacting us, um, but it's, uh, it, it, as really has reproduced, as soon as the viewer comes into, um, uh, view of somebody wearing, <laughs> wearing, um, an attachment with Bento, uh, it goes to desktop, and I'm sort of wondering if that impacts other viewers as well. Um, so, which uh, which viewers crashing? Oops, I muted my mic. Um, where else you got links? So, there's this one. Okay. Well, in in the la in our last couple of releases, we put out a number of fixes dealing with assorted crashes that um, would well, affect is... viewers that did, that encountered okay. the extended skeleton. 
Yeah, we, um, we have made a few changes to handle, uh, you know, basically the unknown joints case. Um, and uh, so I hope if you have those changes incorporated, you won't get the crash. But uh, you know, in any it, case, it may be that some of those didn't to try. didn't get yeah, imported. I, I think you guys might have accidentally reverted some of the unknown joint handling to unbreak some technically invalid meshes. Uh, there does well, like, be some uh, some stuff going around about uh, joints where the weights are all zero, which we really did intend to change the behavior on. And I'm sorry if it looks funny, but the previous case we were basic. You're basically dividing by zero, and then I think throwing away the joints because they were not a numbers or something like that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's... which is pretty squirrely. Uh, uh, Any way you slice it, um, so uh, I, I haven't had a chance to follow up on those. Uh, reports because we've been working on you know bento stuff recently, but uh, I'll you know I can uh, uh -huh. I can I can follow up a bit more as we with have more time after the holidays. Uh, with singularity, we actually encountered that like a long time ago, and there is really no nice way to fix it. You end up with a mesh that skews some random direction to make everything happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, really, uh, the the fix for meshes that have, uh, you know, vertices with no weights defined is to put some weights on them. It's, uh, it's kind of a don't do that. Well, I guess my concern is um, uh, if if there are crashes um, being caused by Bento on viewers, uh, we'll call them legacy viewers I, now. I, I um, think it's only with Firestorm that's a problem because of your reversion of some of the weight handling So issues. it is only happening to Firestorm? Yeah. Yeah, um, if you hang on a second, I think I can dig up the uh, dig up the bug for that. Well, I mean, because we can fix it in our upcoming release, but my concern is our existing releases that are out there. Um, once Bento goes to main grid, even as a project viewer, um, we're going to be getting um, possibly or potentially a lot of crashes, and certainly the the griefers will be very quick. Well, it, to, uh... it probably won't. Um, that is, we will probably not allow bento content. That is, anything uploaded that uses the extended skeleton on the main grid until uh, we're ready to take bento to release candidate. So when might that be? Um, no prediction I, whatsoever. None. Okay. Because when it's ready, we're, and we're going we're to allow plenty of time. Uh, will it be no, before November? Haste, uh... Uh, February, sorry. Will it be before February? Uh, if we can get a release out, uh, our scheduled release will be February. If we can get that out, um, then I'm not going to be as worried about it. Um, it's, my concern it's, is if you guys push it to main grid before we have, you know, a patched version available to our users, then we'll have to push an emergency that, update. Right. That doesn't seem likely, as, as Grumpity is saying in chat. It, it, okay, it, good. I, I mean, I, I don't want to say it's absolutely impossible, but our intent is to have a, 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 a good data period during which people can really deeply explore using these new features on a DD. Um, give us lots of feedback about them, give us plenty of opportunity to tweak them, um, possibly make important and incompatible changes. Um, and then when we really think we've got it, the, the new extended skeleton right and all the handling for it right, then we will declare that to be a release candidate, move it to, and, and then begin allowing upload of it on Agni. If we got that level of confidence before the end of January, I would be really astonished. I just okay, don't think. Good. Yeah, we already have a fair number of bugs to look at, and obviously one one of the things we want to do during this test period is we're hoping that uh, you know you guys will be able to pull in the changes and and create compatible. Oh yeah, that, well that's it's, it's a bit like mesh, right? You yeah. don't want it going live until uh, until everybody's ready for it. And I realize this is going to you know more or less break all the older viewers and that's just the way that goes. So I, my concern was just that we would have time to get um, this code out there so that we have a, a, a viewer that isn't being crashed. Yeah, I, I think before February is, is pretty unlikely based on where we are okay, right now. Okay, cool. 
if if people get if viewers get merged up to CEF and they get all the fixes we put in for joint handling and, and attachment point handling up to that point, that is up to the release we did yesterday, 4.0, 4 right? If you're up to our 4.0, then uh, you should have all of our fixes and therefore be tolerant of the presence of extended skeleton, even if you don't render them. That is, you won't crash, or at least we hope not. Yeah, that, that's my right? concern is with the crash, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, what I would suggest to everyone is get merged up at least to our 4.0 and then test on Aditi to make sure that you're tolerant of the presence of Bento content even if you're not rendering it. Um, because then you can take your time or, or, or rush as much as you want, but, but move independently of, you know, with respect to, um, with respect to merging in and extended skeleton support fully. Right. But you won't need to worry about because, you know, um, while it's very unlikely that, uh, that Bento will get to main grid before the end of January, uh, you know, we hope it won't be a long time after that. You know, we're, it's not going to be June or July or anything, right? So you do want to be tolerant of it as, as soon as possible. Well, with that concern out of the way, um, kudos. Uh, like from what I've seen with Bento, that's pretty epic stuff. We're very excited about it. And yeah. Uh, Horley, yeah. Uh, if if there's a you know if there's vertices on the mesh that aren't uh, uh, you know that don't have any any you know non-zero weights assigned, then that's really a bug that has to be fixed by the creator. Um, it's it's unfortunate that, that those were kind of hidden uh, through a combination of uh, of different errors uh, in the past, uh, which gave people the impression that they were working. But I mean, it was it was really pretty bad things were happening and on some graphics cards it was generating these like spikes that would shoot off in random directions and things like that so uh there's uh you know it was it was kind of it'd been problematic for a while but uh you know unfortunately if you don't have any weights then uh you you don't you don't know where to put the thing Well, I'm uh, looking forward to having um having my tail back. <laughs> A proper tail. Yeah, we're looking and, forward to seeing uh, what people are going to do with the with the new joint. Oh, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. Be afraid, be very afraid be very of what afraid. the users what the creators are going to do with it. <laughs> well, okay, looking forward to some trepidation. <laughs> um so probably a bit early for more questions on that right now um it looks like um our devs are working on cef to get that in um, so we, we will be on schedule to get release out uh, February, which should have um, any kind of crash fixes and whatnot for Bento. Oz, we promise not to release on Christmas this year. I really appreciate that. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys did that last year. Bad, bad, bad. It was <laughs> fine. It was like our most stable release ever. 
No. We did that once. Just take oh, the holidays just... off. Go spend time with your families. Don't... I don't find my family. <laughs> um, okay, so I do have another topic. Yeah. Um, and this is being driven to me by some of my people. Um, so you guys used to have... And I say used to, as in past tense, sort of, um, you know, a coding style that you guys were supposed to, and you guys, I mean, Linen Lab, that we're supposed to stick to in regards to tabs versus spaces. Yeah, we changed it. Uh, well, have you changed it? Because from what I'm hearing, it is completely inconsistent. And... Uh, it, it's causing all kinds of problems, and so well, let's. I'm gonna. Oops, that was a whisper. I'm just gonna paste a bunch of examples that I've been given. So there's that one. Please. There's that one. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Uh, there's that one. There's that one, and so apparently, depending on who's doing the coding at Linen Lab, um, it varies. So. And I, I don't know names, and if I did, I wouldn't say them, but there are some names who use spaces, and there are some names who use tabs. Um, and um, apparently it's kind of... Okay, the standard, say says spaces, the standard says spaces are preferred, and if somebody's using tabs, uh, I will harass them about it, but I yeah. don't, well, I don't actively of, check for it. This is kind of pointing out that you might need to harass people. Um, okay. It's it, because uh, as far as you know, our our end, it's a, a difficult. It's causing problems with merging for us. And I, I know that's not your problem, but um, uh, yeah. But if it's going to cause problems merging for you, it'll eventually cause it for us too. Uh, I at one time, very early in my tenure at the lab, actually volunteered to go through and change all the tabs to spaces in one giant commit. But, I do uh, remember that. That's why th I... They wouldn't let me do now. that. <laughs> um, should be committed. This is, this is a, also a quote. CF is also full with them. Um, I'll put it in the local there. Um, but, oh, and then uh, there's this question here. Two sets of questions. Um, and I'll just post them there. Uh, the trouble is that we do not enforce any particular set of tools on anybody, and different tools do things differently, and some people have not caught on to the fact that they ought to be using one or the other. It shouldn't be true that there are DOS line endings except in files that are intended for consumption only on Windows. There is we a, a policy checker that fine. rejects Sorry. those. One, one, one at a time. Go ahead. Go ahead, Veer. You were saying? Uh, oh, sorry. About the uh, um, about the line endings, I, I th the policy checker does uh, does gripe at you if you try to change to a DOS line ending, for uh, at least for most types of files. Right. And it, it gets run when I pull to view or release. So it passed when I pulled CEF. There were some intermediate check-ins that had deadline endings in them, but they were all fixed by the time it was pulled to viewer release, or it wouldn't have worked. The actual 3P repo, uh, that's like, it's a giant mix of line endings. Oh, in the, oh, in the, th the 3P repos, we don't enforce our coding style in period. Well, technically, that repo is your code, mostly. The wrapper library is our code. Y now. Yeah, that, that's like a line uh, ending mess. Okay, I'll we'll try to get that cleaned up. Um, that the the checker only operates on our main repositories. It doesn't check on on uh, the libraries. Callum, you should run the checker on that library. Yeah, I actually reformat it with a style before I commit usually, and that take that that makes sure the endings are wrong. Uh, are fixed, so I'm surprised that that's the case, but I'll take a look. 
next time we have a reason to do anything with it, which I'm sure we will sooner or later. Yeah, the viewer repository um, has to go through our, our policy checker, and it, it does enforce line index. It I actually wrote a leaving tabs check for it at one point, but like I said, they wouldn't let me enforce it back then. I thought you had enforced that. No. I, I, I thought you oh, the, at one time, did that. At, at one time, the rule was the reverse of what it is now. Actually, it was it required leading tabs. Um, but uh, one of my one of my early changes shortly after I took over as head of engineering was to change that rule because I think leading tabs are an abomination. Abomination. Yeah. <laughs> they they're just like a constant source of display problems. There's no excuse for them whatsoever. Um, but even I am not crazy enough to go do that giant check in. Not when we've got nine viewers outstanding at any viewer branches outstanding at any one time. It would just be a nightmare. If we ever get to the point where we've only got one development branch going which I don't anticipate will be true any time in the foreseeable future, um, I may actually go do that one giant check-in and change them all. But I, I don't anticipate that opportunity arising. Uh, let's see, we had a question from uh, Horley in... in uh chat a little while ago uh, asking about bug 10.990, which is the uh, question about animating positions. Um, so this is a, a fairly uh, complicated and, and obviously controversial topic. Uh, there's been a lot of feedback about it in the forums. Um, you know, basically where we are right now is that, uh, you know, animating positions is not something that we ever supported on purpose, which means that our code for it uh, you know, it, it doesn't work particularly well, uh, you know, in the viewer. Um, and our hope is that with adding the new joints that we would no longer, uh, you know, that, that, that workaround would no longer be needed to do, uh, you know, to do interesting, uh, uh, you know, alternate avatar shapes. Um, so the, the plan, and I believe the way it's currently configured, is that uh, on a DD uh, uploads of, of animations that, alter positions um, shouldn't be allowed and uh, the intent there is to basically uh, uh, you know make sure that, that we're exercising the the alternative pathway and making sure that we actually can uh, you know create the kinds of avatars that people want to create using the, the new bento skeleton without positions um, so uh, you know that's that's where we are right now, uh, but obviously we're in the early stages of testing Bento, and uh, you know we don't really know for sure yet whether there are cases where uh, you know this is required or not until you know people have actually exercised it. So uh, that's the, you know the kind of feedback that we're hoping to get is people trying different things and letting us know what uh, what can and can't be done in this uh, uh, in this uh, kind of. Uh, alternate paradigm, which we we think is, is a bit better supported. Um, uh, as, as to the specific proposal to to trans to have translations for facial expressions, um, I'm, I'm really curious how that would work. We, we talked about that uh, when we were putting together the skeleton, and uh, it, it seemed like it would be kind of incompatible with the notion of doing any kind of avatar scaling, right? If you make the if you make the head bigger or the whole avatar bigger, um, you know your your translation-based uh, facial animation. It seems like is is not going to scale up with the size of the uh, head. So I'm not sure how well that would work. But uh, in any case, uh, we uh, you know I'll I'll take a look at the uh, I'll take a take a look at the bug in more detail, and we may want to respond to to specifics in there. But that's kind of the uh, that's kind of where we are overall with with uh, position animations right now. Um, you know, it is uh, it is just disabled on a DD, and it's for for testing Bento, and you know, nothing is final until we go to the main grid. But uh, our our hope is that this is a kind of a temporary workaround that we're not uh, 
uh, you know, not going to have to have since it doesn't uh, doesn't work particularly well currently. So I, I think it will help inform that and and any other discussion of the, of how the the new skeleton extensions and restrictions work uh, it, to try to make everything very concrete. That is, um, you know, the assertion that A cannot be done or that given the current restrictions, A cannot be done well, I think is, would be, would be well informed by having people share, publish what exactly what they tried to do and exactly what the results are and share the you know the, the the animation files and the meshes and the rigging and all of that so that everyone can see very very specifically what's going on um, and it may be that uh, that there are different ways to do what people are trying to do and there and and that they can accomplish um, a, a satisfactory result in a different way and we can all learn what that is or or collectively discover that that they can't and that and that we may need to make some adjustments but um the the assertion that you know xyz can never be done or or, or whatever um in general with no specific example really doesn't really doesn't help us to to make good decisions Very well said. Um, and as Worley has requested, <laughs> maybe you could say that on the Jira. Uh, I will, well, uh, I've I've tried to do that elsewhere, but uh, on the Jira is a good idea. I'll do that. Uh, also, on uh, on that note, and I will be putting a note to this effect in the forums as well. Um, Linden Lab has company holiday between Christmas and New Year's, so um, lots of us are going to be going places and doing things that will leave us with um, less frequent and less intense internet access and so forth. So. While a bunch of us will be watching Jira and the and the forums um, and attempting to respond, um, please be patient with us because we're spending times with our families and friends and doing holiday things, and uh, it will the the pace will not be what we hope it is under normal circumstances. Uh, and rest assured that when we get back, we'll try to catch up as fast as possible. Yeah, we, we do have, I, I don't know if minimal staff is quite the right description, but we will have fewer people that, that will be paying attention, and they'll be paying attention only at longer intervals than, than they would be if, if they were working all the time. Uh, for just uh, for my own sanity, I'd like to thank you all at Linden Lab for what you do. Uh, you do make... Uh, uh, great strides at improving SL for us. We appreciate it. Uh, just because we uh, yell at you when you do something wrong, I think you should get a pat on the back when you do something right, too. And uh, I'd like to invite you all out to a party tomorrow if you're uh, available. Um, we're having a Christmas party, uh, Mad P opening party tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Uh, you're all invited. Thank you. Um. Yeah, we're we're not done yet. Watch for new stuff next year too. Yeah, it's funny actually, because uh, like especially lately we've been doing uh, blog posts. Um, Canary Beck is our, our marketing person right now, and she's done a few blog posts uh, about uh, you know asking Second Life residents if they would promote Second Life, help us promote Second Life, and all that stuff. And looking at all the, <laughs> it makes you want to slash your wrists looking at some of the comments that people put out there. Um, but uh, you guys actually have been doing like some really big things in the last what, year, two years. 
it it has it does go notice. I, don't don't go by blog comments and like what you guys read on on uh, your forums and stuff. It's horrible. Well, I I think that the comments we've been getting, uh, especially about about Bento and and even CEF uh, have in in the main been really positive and and positive, we're all yeah. really enjoying it. Uh, so it's nice to work on something that's making people happy. Well, all I have to say about that, even the people that complain, they're here in Second Life. It was if it was that bad, would they be here? Shut up, Ed. Yeah, it's true. Uh, even the negative comments, yeah, it, yeah. you know, I we take as indication that people care. Um, and that's, you know, I, by all means, you know, if you think we're doing something wrong, let us know. Um, oh, we will. But, but <laughs> I, know, I know you will. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it, it is a good thing. Um, and yeah, nicely, is, nicely is good. We listen better if it's nicely, because uh, we're human. Yeah, trust me, Grumpity. Uh, I've I've bitched at uh, enough of these meetings, week, well, month after month after month. Uh, uh, I think I did it nicely. <laughs> okay. Any other uh, any other topics? Or are we? Do we get to break early for the weekend? Yeah, I think we get to break early for Christmas. I think that should be your Christmas present. We go early. Well, the only thing I can say at the moment is that the jar report that I was... I'm still trying to locate all of the parts and pieces because I had a computer crash for the animation or the upgrades to the animation. So I'm having a little trouble locating everything. Computer went down. So I will get that jar made for you, Oz, so you can see the twistage in the animations with the okay. zero joints. It's, it's taking me a little bit longer because I'm still restoring my computer. Take, take your time and get the uh, you know get a good example for us. That will be very helpful. Thanks. Okay. All right. Happy I... holidays to everybody at Linden Lamp. Yeah, well, happy Christmas, holidays happy to everybody. Whatever it is that you happen to celebrate. And, uh, yeah, keep up the good work, folks. Uh, Jess, if you got time, uh, you want to throw me up on the uh, platform up there? Uh, I, I don't actually have time. Uh, I've got to do a run-through with Matt P with that free play game and... Then I've got a dinner reservation I have to deal with tonight. Yeah, you'll have to bug her tomorrow morning. I will morning. be in tomorrow, though. Okay, well, yeah, well, you're going to be busy for the weekend anyway. How about uh, Monday? Um, Monday, Monday, Monday. Look at Monday. What's Monday? The 21st, probably. You know I'm up there usually. It's just going to be yell. Oh, Oz, are there any more job openings at Linden Lab yet? Uh, I don't have any for Second Life. There are lots of others for other parts of the lab. Uh, see ah. the website. I have to check it again. I, I, I hired my last new hire uh, a few weeks ago. All right. Take care, everybody. And poof. <laughs>